Hi, this is Margo. This is Sunday evening, January 19th, 2020. And I'm going to do a very quick methane update and <clears throat> also show you the NOAA methane data from today, uh, from yesterday as well, and show you the chart where it's gone up some more this week. And that's all I'm going to do. It's just going to be a short video. And I'm, I'm not going to say too much about the comments that came in under my last video. I thought they were valid, every single one of them that came in, that got approved. And um, I have my own opinions about what's going on with CAMS. And I already stated what they are. And unless, you know, if someone thinks that CAMS made a mistake, then you're certainly free to contact them and ask them if they made a mistake or not and see what they say. So I have my own opinions and I'm not going to go into them right now because it's just too long and involved. But, um,. We're still using CAMS because this is what we have at our disposal since we, we are not privy to um, things that are not shown to the public. So we are on Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Services website looking at methane. They finally got everything updated. They were re releasing three and four days at a time. And now they even have they're even updating the day like the day of so <clears throat> I've already done my silent movie for my members on subscribe star showing the today's data but we're going to look at yesterday's data the 18th and compare it with the data from Noah <clears throat> And I'll do a separate video later on in the week updating sea ice. And I'm going to keep this short. People have requested shorter videos, and I agree. I want to do shorter videos. We can't go into great detail about a lot of stuff. But um, I'll do shorter videos. That's fine. So here it is <coughs> from... This is where Friday left off. I'll go ahead and get the movie loaded up. What the, what strikes me right off the bat, <clears throat> despite the difference in the colors that we're used to seeing, um, we're, we've got a new release coming up here in the Chukchi Sea. And we're also having this huge release still going on over by Severnaya Zemlya and notice how it spreads out across the Arctic and also since CAMS has come back online for uh, 2020 we've got huge releases along the Alaska coastline and we haven't seen that before so um, and that seems to be ongoing now and I know that they're doing oil exploration there and um, you know it could be offshore drilling I don't know but there's ice that's coming up if it's coming up off the coastline that's coming up through the sea ice and there's ice here too so that's coming up through the sea ice this is coming up through the sea ice so we're seeing some new areas that are releasing methane that I've never seen it released here before and I'm wondering what happened to the huge release that was coming up in the Kara Sea off of the no off of Novaya Zemlya and what was coming up on the Yamal Peninsula I'm wondering what happened to that we're starting to see some high releases a few coming up in Siberia again but like I said you know the background colors are just different and they're different and that's all there is to it there's another thing that has changed and it shows me that they did change the program um, 
in the past um, the way the images broke down they used to come up every three hours right here all the way through with this first day is the data period and then the next four days are the forecast periods and it used to be every three hours so it would be um, eight one two three four five six seven it would be <coughs> um, eight videos or eight images that would come up for every day and now they've cut that in half there are only four images that come up every day so they're they're only posting in the forecast period they're only posting for every six hours so that's why the movies run faster it loads faster and runs faster and so when you see it jump from image to image it's a longer time span so it's a bigger change from one picture to the next I did figure out how to slow it down um, you can hit the um, on, on your keyboard it's either the greater than arrow or the lesser than arrow to speed it up or slow it down so I just leave it at whatever speed they have and then I stop it if I want to look at it so that's what we have going on with the Arctic view if we look at the North Pole view here's what we have we can go ahead and load this movie <coughs> We're still seeing high releases in India and in the Indian Ocean and across Southern Asia and China and a wave, this arm that moves out and um, then we've got some, some high releases popping up over here in Europe which we've seen in the past and um, We've got some high releases at different parts throughout North America, but um, you know it just it's the it's the not the super high, but the next high colors. It's what looks looks not the same to me, and that could easily be changed with an AI algorithm that a certain level can you know they can just go in and plug that in that would be very easy to change and it would be such a subtle difference that most people don't even notice it if you've not been watching cams for very long or you know reporting on it and recording it and looking at it on a day-to-day -day basis you wouldn't even notice the subtle differences but this is this is what I do what I'm doing and it's been a full-time job watching all the days that came up and there were some days that we had missing data for um, <clears throat> but they're caught up now I didn't see a blowout if you want to call it a blowout but um, you know I just report on on what the program's showing that's all I'm doing and um, <clears throat> then people can extrapolate from that and so here it is global the global view and now let's look at the 500 HPA level that's about halfway up in the atmosphere and we can see that it's still looking pretty washed out and I have to refresh the screen to get the correct color ledger they still haven't fixed that and the high end is 2360 <clears throat> so it goes from 1950 to 2360 on this dark brown so that's a pretty wide range and with the dark brown 
and we don't see any of that showing up we're seeing more like this bright red uh, 1920 and the darkest I'm seeing might be 1940 or 2030 or that would be 1930 the way this ledger runs and that's definitely <coughs> different from what we're seeing on NOAA so there's that and if you want to see what it looks like when you load the movie <coughs> it takes a little while if you haven't loaded it and we do see it fluctuate and move around and all that but I'm thinking we should be seeing some darker colors up there. <clears throat> Here's total column for today. I've got to reload this to get the correct ledger. And again, we're seeing lots of green, which this light green is between 18, 1800 to 1820. That's what we're seeing down here and up here. And we're seeing less in the in the reds range, and we were seeing more in this bright reds range before, and this range. So let's <coughs> let's leave this now, and I have the NOAA data for. Uh, it says 469 millibars, but you have to click on the 477 little thumbnail to get this. So there are four readings. We have the Met Op 1 satellite in the morning and the afternoon for the readings and the Met Op 2 satellites morning and afternoons for the readings. This is for Saturday. The mean is 1877. That's the average for the whole level. The range goes from 1424 <coughs> to 2427 parts per billion. And we can see, um, <coughs> and this fuchsia color is between 2000, then between 2000 and 2427 parts per billion. So that's a very high reading here. And um so just to just to compare as best we can here going back the 500 HPA is the closest we can get. And so we should be seeing <clears throat> a lot of these dark colors and that 2427 is above what CAMS reads. The highest reading on CAMS for this level is 2320 even. So NOAA is showing higher readings than CAMS for a lot of the area. <clears throat> but we don't know, you know, it can be one little area 2427 but it's between 2000 and 2427 so there's that then the reading for the afternoon was the mean was 1877 again 
we have a lot of missing data where these white spots are. The range was 1435 to 2488, so that's high as well. Here's the Met Op 1 in the morning. It traditionally reads lower than the Met, I mean the Met, op, this is the Met Op 2 in the morning. It traditionally re reads lower than the Met Op 1. The mean is 1859. The range is 1467 to 2268. In the fuchsia, we're seeing even a lot of that. So that would be between 2000 and 2268 up there. Here's the afternoon for the Met Op 2. The mean is 1860, so that went up a little. And the range is 1476 to 2342. So that's pretty high for them. So when we plug those into the spreadsheet here for the 18th, we add them up and divide them by 4. We come up with the mean for that level to be 1868.25 parts per billion, and that's an increase of 1.5 parts per billion since last week. And here, here's where the line goes up from last week. <coughs> so it's been increasing. The lowest it's been was um, here on the 28th of December. The lowest it was was right here. 1861.75 and then it's been on the increase since then and we're 1868.25 and it's we're 11 parts per billion higher than March 1st when I started doing this so that's where we're at so with an increase at this reading we should be seeing darker colors over their own cams. So anybody who wants to contact them and see what's going on, you know, you're sure welcome to do it. I'm not going to, but anyone else, if you think that their algorithm is off or something and you'd like to investigate it and <clears throat> you want to talk to them scientifically, you know, you're more than welcome to do that. So that's my methane update for today, and I hope everyone is doing well and having an, a good weekend, wherever you are. And I do believe that time is short, and I am a Christian, and I recommend that everyone get right with God and Jesus as fast as possible. Uh, we are seeing some higher readings over here in the, over the Pacific Ocean, seeing that. So, get your spiritual houses in order, because no one knows the day or the hour. And I'm praying for all the unsaved and the lost, that they get, that they do find Jesus before it's too late. So, thank you for listening and watching. And if you'd like to contribute to the cause, I have a PayPal link below. I'd like to thank all the people who have sent me donations. It's really appreciated. I also have my Subscribestar page where I do most of my posting and that's five dollars a month for that platform. And um, I'd like to thank all my Subscribestar members and the people who have contributed over there too. So time is short. God bless you. And I'll talk to you soon. Go in peace and good night.